Hey you guys, it's your girl Jay back with another quick video. And this video is another Muse mindset video, okay? Now, for me to get to the mindset that I'm in now, you guys, I had to get a lot of stuff from around me. I realized that if I'm going to be speaking to the people, right, and I'm going to be sharing my ideals, then maybe I should be standing behind these ideals that I'm actually sharing, okay? So, when I sing my songs like, Kicked out all my demons, I'm the last one standing. That's a serious song to me because it's a lot of demons. People have inner demons that are stopping them, blocking them from accomplishing their dreams. And that demon for you, it could be some of the people that you're around. It could be some of the activities that you would rather indulge in uh, opposed to activities that will help you grow. Um, some of these demons could be where you're from, like the block that you live on, you know. A lot of things will stop people from accomplishing their goals. When I was 19 years old, I had a feeling in my spirit to move to Atlanta. I didn't know nobody here. I never even visited the city before. I just said, oh, I want to go to Atlanta. Obviously, now I didn't just say that. Maybe God sent that idea to my mind, and I picked it up. So I did it, okay? Now, once I got here, of course, I had my mind set on my goals, my things that I love to do, like modeling and music. And But little did I know, it was demons in, in modeling, in music, and all my favorite things that would try to put a roadblock in front of me to stop me, okay? As far as with modeling, you know, it, with the modeling industry, they want you to take off your clothes, and they want you to do this and do that, and they want you to kind of put your, your personality, your ideals, and your beliefs to the back in order to be a representation for someone else's brand. Which is all cool. I love being a model. I love representing other people's brands. But don't allow me to misrepresent myself when I'm representing your brand. And by that, I mean that if, if in order for me to represent your brand, I'm also representing destruction for my people, like... Me, as far as what I believe in, if I don't want to get naked in front of your camera and take pictures, then I shouldn't have to do that. I don't have to, you don't have to make up excuses like that's just the way the industry is or sometimes you got to do this and something. No, 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 no. You know, uh, if I have a certain direction that I want to go in, there's always a direction that um, will fit you. Like, if I want to be a model to represent brands that will be uplifting and nourishment to my people, then I will do that. I'll be a model for freaking uh, charcoal toothpaste in a minute, you know. I'll be a model for, you know, any other thing rather than something that is uh, influencing my people in a terrible direction like i don't want to be a video vixen i don't want to be a symbol of lust for the man in order to draw him away or get him uh in a state of distraction so he isn't focusing on his goals he need to be freaking worried about building civilizations but he got girls dancing with titties in his face and now he freaking thrown off from building his civilization to titties in my face you know so, um, that's one, <laughs> that's just one part of the story. God set me apart from that. I, once I saw the hidden agenda, the hidden demons in that field, I just moved myself away from it. I don't have to move myself away from modeling, but I moved myself away from those certain demons that would affect me negatively and also affect my people negatively. Let's move on to the music industry. I love music. I want to make positive music to raise the people's spirits, inspire people. But yet, in the music industry, there are a certain demons that people want to rap about. Uh, very toxic things like killing each other. Or, I'm, I was born with nothing. 
and now I made something and now I'm a flex on you. Hey, I was born with nothing too. I'm from the hood. We was born with very little, but we made it work. And that's the most important thing of the situation. Now, now that you made it work and now that you made it big for your people, what are you going to do? You're going to tease them and taunt them and make them hate you? Or are you going to be a good representation of how you can come from nothing and then you can create something and then give back to your people and then create something even bigger create more jobs for your people create a whole just keep creating you know you don't have to fucking flash money in their face and be like oh i got this and you ain't got it and uh, like that's just fool, foolish this fuckery is abnormal it's just strange so that's another demon that's out here getting these folks I mean it's just a lot of things right so God allowed me to be moved out of that direction too because I did not want to be a part of something that's harming so many people like I'd rather just create my own way and help the people the way I want to help the people so that's what I decided to do Kicked out all my demons, I'm the last one standing. I figured that out in my mind, that some things was affecting me negatively. I had to kick those demons out in order to help myself. Then I can help the people. And then really, I mean, it's stuff that you guys can figure out yourself too. You can help yourselves. But that, that in my mind, that was my perspective and my role. I even had to remove certain people from around me like if certain people was uh i don't know like for instance if i want to invite somebody somewhere i'm gonna invite you somewhere where you can better yourself or something that's gonna add to your life i'm gonna invite you to if i'm going to a video shoot and i'm about to get paid i'm make sure you get paid and we're gonna go there together i'm going to a casting call for a free, to be a hair model for some amazing hairline, I'm gonna invite you there because, boom, okay. If I'm going to an opportunity, I'm gonna bring you along to that opportunity. That's my mindset. Some people that I had around me, they want to invite me to do things that are not opportunities. They're just things that could drain me. I don't want to go out to the club and party and get drunk. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Uh, go and be an extra in a music video and they expect me to take off my clothes and dance up on the rappers but they don't want to pay me like i don't want to sit at the bar and go nigga hunting and wait for a man to buy me a drink or buy me my food and have a conversation with him in order for him to buy me a bag or something like that it's just ridiculous to me so if i had those people around me that were inviting me to do negative things or oh you want to chill you just want to come and sit and watch tv with me watch netflix no no how is that benefiting me in my life no and i don't mean how is that benefiting me in my life as in you need to invite me to do something where i'm going to benefit um as far as money wise or something like that no but if you're going to invite me to do something at least let it stimulate my mind. At least let it stimulate my spirit. At least let it be something that adds on to my life significantly rather than me just inputting information that is useless to me. Because I don't care. I don't watch TV. I don't want to sit in front of a, a television for one hour learning nothing. Like, that's not helpful to me at all. Like, everybody's life is a movie as far as i'm concerned ever since i was young i felt like my my life was a movie so make that movie instead of watching someone else's movie so yeah kicked out all my demons i'm the last one standing standing sometimes you gotta remove some shit from your life just so you can see where you're going god will move you around and it may seem like you're by yourself but that's a benefit to you see you.